Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Sacrificial Sun. I'm Chocolate Milk, and joining me is... I really like her main? Base 626. I thought you were going to make a comment about virgins, but... <laughs> I could have. I could have, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Our last video, we got to Gaia Rock, which is our next dungeon. And uh, we did the outside of the dungeon. We got this idol. And this idol is going to allow us to move on in this dungeon and to weaken the boss. I mentioned last video that if you want to, you can just come in here. Uh, you can go through this dungeon. No problem. You don't have to explore any of the side parts of it. And you can just go through here and defeat the boss. But it will be virtually impossible. So we're going to uh, do it the proper way by going on through this dungeon. I think we've also seen all of the enemies. So I'll probably start cutting these out. They're not too hard to defeat, though. We need to save some young girl from being sacrificed to a gigantic serpent. They're awaiting for a hero, and we have come to help. There's, we even brought four heroes. Even better. Even better! So you go ahead and you cyclone that, and for some reason, it allows these gigantic floating green platforms to appear, and it's just like, what? Sure. Okay, <laughs> whatever you say, game. I'm also too lazy to walk all the way back through there, so I'm just going to retreat. And then I'm going to go to the left side. Dude, if I had the ability to retreat, I would be using it constantly. I know, right? Screw walking. That's a lot of work. <laughs> it's like, take the train to work? Oh, I got to get home? Retreat. Retreat. <laughs> what retreat now, world? <laughs> retreat to my last checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> Like public public transportation, no more. All right, now once you've done those platforms, you can come over here and actually use them. I don't think you see this anywhere else in the game. This is kind of a weird concept. It's just like, hey, do you know all those vines outside? Well, let's make this dungeon themed around like vines and grass, even though it's an earth dungeon, which <laughs> makes no sense. Even though you're in a giant mountain, not the jungle. Yeah. Oh, I stand corrected. There's a couple new enemies here. We've got a uh, pink vermin, which I think we've seen already. The fire worm, and then the wood walker, I guess, is the new enemy. And here I was expecting it to be called a Trent, but no. A treant, yeah. That would be too stereotypical, I guess. Or, or too mainstream. <laughs> I don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't think this game has really done any of the classic fantasy monsters. I mean, they have bats and stuff like that, but... Goblins, they have. Yeah, do they have? I thought they were called something different. Well, I Maybe mean, they, yeah, and they have, like, orcs and things like that, but... Yeah, they don't oh. really have anything, uh... Like, yeah, m most generic type things. So there's our boss. Uh, it's a gigantic <laughs> serpent. And it's drinking um, some sort of dragon's bane. And you need to get flashes of light to go into all four of these holes. Uh, each time you make light go through one of the holes, it will go into the water, I guess, that the serpent is drinking, and it, and it will weaken it. So, uh, and then that depends, or that will change the fate of the boss battle. So, it's really, really honestly very easy to do this four times, and I really do recommend doing it, because this boss, even when it's weakened fully, still has, I think, almost 4,000 HP, so it's going to take you a while regardless. It's pretty cool that they make the dragon boss unbelievably powerful, though. It's like, oh yeah, this is a dragon. You have to do things to beat him. You can't just run up and whack him with a sword. Yeah. You know, and come to think of it, we haven't had a boss battle in a while, I don't think that I can think of. Because this game has a lot less boss battles than the first game. Which is a shame. By the far. last one I can remember is the one with the pirate. But I'm pretty sure we've had one after that. Well, the last one that I can think of is on Pierre's boat. Oh yeah, there's a giant squid thing. Yeah. You can cyclone this if you want. It's totally optional. But you can fight a mad plant if you feel like it. I think he, he drops an item, so it might be worth it. I wonder what made him so mad. We disturbed his sleep? I don't know, he was uh. he was frolicking with the spores of the grass <laughs> and the flowers and we just <laughs> fucked up his day, I guess. We disturbed his sexy times with the spores. 
He, but he looks so angry. Ah, we get a potion. Uh, does someone is someone carrying the potions? No. Well, I get. Oh yeah, Pierre's is. I'll give that to him then. He doesn't. He doesn't carry enough, anyways. He can. For being like the biggest dude in the party. <laughs> He's just like, nah. I think you guys can carry it. Here, Sheba, take my extra stuff. <laughs> yeah. But okay. I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> but I'm like the smallest in the party. Yeah. So. Whatever. I need to show off my gigantic man muscles. I don't think there's anything <laughs> here. Yes? No. Okay. Uh, again with the idol. Make it dance. Dance, idol, dance! I don't know what this game has with, like, idols. Because there was, like, the Gombomba statue, too, which was, like, a freakishly weird idol thing, which creeps me out, but... Yeah, they've, they've got a thing. You know, I just started wondering, if we're poisoning the water, or whatever we're doing to this water, why does this dragon serpent thing keep drinking it? Because it's super tasty? I don't know, I don't understand. It seems odd. He's just like, oh, it tastes so bad, oh, it's weakening me, must drink more. <laughs> I guess he's not a very smart dragon. Probably uh... not. God, I hope I don't screw this up. Yes. Success. Because there's more tiki heads along that wall that I knock you over, but I only managed to hit one of them, so that was nice. And after this, we only have one more little light area to shine, and we should be done, because it's right here. All you gotta do is just cyclone it, and it will loosen up the little statue and then you can and then the game was nice enough to let you just drop right on down thank you yay thanks game I like the shortcuts okay especially when you can make use of them yeah that's even better when it's not like a horrendous shortcut that you worked so long to get and then it does absolutely nothing so there we go fully weakened I don't even know what those light balls are supposed to do. I, I don't think it's really fully explained. Maybe it's something to do with like the moon and the sun or something philosophical because they talk about like the full moon and the hero coming. I really don't know why. Or maybe he is like Medusa and can't be re like seen in light. Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? Medusa can't look at a reflection because she'll oh. turn to stone. Also, hey base, there's a gnome. <laughs> Damn you gnomes! <laughs> oh, why are you here? And he's green. He's especially obnoxious. Kill the gnomes. Actually, I like green, but that just makes it worse because he's wearing a color that I like. <laughs> How dare you! He's dead now. Ooh, Jenna's level 28. Lovely. Okay, so now we're down on the sides of the dungeon. Gone to the left and the right side, and now all we have to do is come to the middle and solve a simple puzzle. So, let's move on here and you've got two stumps to move as you can see you have a large surface area in which to move them so we'll move this stump over to the right grab this one yeah I'm damn it I'm standing right in front of it <sighs> I was having troubles like getting most obnoxious thing ever yeah, I, I think it's really stupid that it doesn't have a lot of, like, s like area. Like, it, if you're facing in a direction, it, it's not just like, oh yeah, hey, I'm gonna throw you a bone and grab onto it, because, you know, you're close enough. It's like, nope, you gotta be exact. And that's just how it goes, and that's too bad. It's a lot of moving for just two little stumps, but there you go. Puzzle oh, well. solved. Yeah, and that traditional Japanese archway yeah. thingy thing. <sighs> These enemies were being so nice, too. Like, they were letting me escape no problem. Thank you. Maybe I'm just getting too powerful. Probably. Okay, so here, again, um, you can just do this if you want to, but it's really recommended to just trade Genie. Uh, so trade one with uh, Felix and Jenna. They'll both learn growth but Felix is almost out of sign energy, so we'll let Jenna do this. And if you use growth on 
these little arrow things will actually point you in the right direction. How convenient. Yeah, so normally, if you're just playing this and you're just going all the way through, you can guess, but you'll, like, kind of infinitely get lost. So, it's a little easier not to guess and to just do it. At least in my opinion. Some people are just hardcore and don't need the help and they'll just do it themselves. I don't need no stinking directions. Exactly. Why would I need your help? Another mimic. I hope it drops something good. Probably not. I hope it's a potion. Probably a game ticket. <sighs> ha! You jinxed it! <laughs> I'm you're, just psychic. You're like, how did I see that coming? It's like, ah. Uh, ah, uh, they don't have any good healing now. Okay, Pierre, it's up to you. There we go. Or Sheba. I know, her and her low stats. And just lack of anything useful. <laughs> no healing spells. Well, she does do reveal and mind read and cyclone, which have all been useful lately. That's true, but she doesn't really have much use in battle. No, not a whole lot. She's she's kind of like the stat boosting person if you need to use stat boosting. She's got really good uh, genie as well and some good uh, spells and things like that, or good summons, I should say. Pick this up, which is not a mimic, it's actually a oh. rusty mace. So we'll bring that back to uh, Sunshine when we get the opportunity. And I think you have to go through these screens a total of 12 times, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, it, it, like if, if you think you're not making any progress, you are. It just, for some reason, they made this just obnoxiously long. And this also is kind of a pain, too, because. Um, you're using up a lot of Psy energy. I think growth is four t for each time you want to use it. And you can just like pace back and forth and renew your Psy energy, but that would take a long time if you were to run out, which is kind of a pain. Also random battles. Yeah. Because I guess this isn't technically considered like a puzzle room. Because usually the only time monsters don't appear is when you're, you're in a room with puzzles. Aha! Here we go. Success. At last, the serpent has finally had its fill. This is the chance I'd hoped for. I will defeat you before the next full moon and rescue Kushnata myself. Whatever Man, her name that's is. Weird. All right, you so-called guardian. Let's see what you've got. A whole lot, apparently. <laughs> yeah. He's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> that's weird. It didn't even react. Dush. <laughs> Fireball to the face. Feeding the serpent dragon's bane isn't weakening it enough for me to beat it. I'm such a weakling. Ah, I'm in a writhing amount of pain. Ah, uh, I do feel kind of bad for him. I love all the dragons like, fuck off, man. I'm trying to take a drink here. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to drink my poison water. I'm super thirsty right now. You're just getting in my way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just prepare for this battle because this video is going to be a little bit long if we try to defeat it now. I'm gonna go ahead and set some genie that I don't particularly think that I will use. Poison probably won't work on the boss, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So that I can actually summon some stuff right away. Man, Pierre's has a lot of good stuff too. Honestly. All of Felix's are super useful. Maybe not mud, but I think that'll be about good. Everyone's stats will start out a little bit weak, but I think we'll probably be alright. We've got some healing items on our, on our person, so we've got some on Pierre's and on Sheba and on Jenna if we start to run out. Because uh, as you can see, Felix and Jenna are kind of low in, on Psy energy. But regardless, we've weakened this guy enough, so we should be fine to uh, go up and face him in the next video. So we're going to kick some dragon butt next time. Heck yeah! Yeah, thanks for watching! And we'll see you then.